Hey guys, how are you doing? Ray Daly here. Some of you may know me from going in and out through the schools over the last year and a half, and some of you may recognise me from coaching in the club in Eden Derry. If you do, brilliant, and if you don't, that's completely fine too. What I'm going to be doing each week is just providing you with little 10 minute videos just so you can do workouts with me every single week, and then hopefully when things get back to normal, then we can go back out all to the pitches and back into the schools, and I'll see you a lot more. So basically how today is going to work is I have loads of activities rolled up on this little whiteboard here. What I'm going to do is just run through each activity with you. I'll explain what they are really, really quick. And then what we'll do is we'll do them together for 30 seconds each time. So it will only work out as maybe five or six minutes of us doing activities. And the rest will be me kind of explaining things to do. So the first thing we're going to do is a quick warm up just to get ready. And all the warm up will be done more or less about the football. You'll see me here, I'll explain it really quick. So the first thing we're going to do is jumping jacks. So for those of you who don't know what jumping jacks are, they're just hands over your head, legs out at the same time, and then we're just jumping, okay? So that's what jumping jacks are. We're gonna go for 30 seconds really quick. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, and off we go. So hands over the head, and legs out. So that's about 10 seconds done already, <laughs> nearly. That's it, keep going. This will get us nice and warm, and then we'll be using a football in a few minutes. If you don't have a football, that's cool. We can use a tennis ball or other stuff like that. So we have about 10 seconds left, so keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. So that's our jumping jack zone. I am tired already. So the next thing we're going to be doing is high knees. So for those of you who want to look at high knees, what I want you to do is bring them right up your hips up here, I don't want them coming down here. It can be easy if you keep your hands up here and then just try to hit your hands every time with your knees. So we're gonna go as quick as we can, try to keep up the pace with me and I'm gonna go for 30 seconds. I'm out of breath already. <laughs> so we're gonna go in three, two, one, and get your knees up as high as you can. That's it, so try to hit your hands with your knees every single time. And we have 10 seconds done already. That's it, so try to go at the same pace as me. If you're slowing down, just make sure your knees stay coming up as high as they can. And you have 10 seconds left. So keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and nice. Right, so the next one we're going to do is just some single leg stuff. So if you have a football, great. If you don't, that's fine. I'm just using it for a bit of balance. So, these are single leg balances, what they're called. So what we're going to do is you'll be up on one leg, I'm gonna do my left leg first. So bring your right knee up as high as you can, go the whole way down, touch the football, and then come back up like that. Okay, I'll show you one more time. So down, touch the football, and up you come. So we're going to do that for 15 seconds on the left leg, then when I say switch, you're going to go onto your right leg, up, down, and touch the ball for 15 seconds. Is that cool? Nice. So, if you don't have a football, just up, touch the ground, and up again. Lovely. So, we are going to go in five seconds. So, up on your left leg, knee up, and then we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, and off you go. So down, touch the ball, up you go. Down, touch the ball or touch the ground, whichever you want. Down, touch the ground. We have five seconds left, then we'll switch legs. So get one more in, if you can. And then we'll switch legs. We're gonna go again now for 15 seconds, switch legs, off you go. Down, touch the ball, try not to fall over like me. Down and touch. That's it, we'll get two more of these. Yep. And one more. Lovely, right, I hope you didn't know it's better than I did. Okay, so this is the last thing we're going to do for the warm up. So if you have a cone or something like that, if you have a football, a great tennis ball, anything at all, all we're going to do is a bit of jumping here for 30 seconds. And you're just gonna go over and back. Just like that. So get your knees up high, make sure you go up. As soon as we land then we're gonna bounce again. So it'll be like this. Lovely. So we are going to go in five seconds. So again, if you don't have a cone or anything, just jump over and back. 
So three, two, one, and off we go. That's it. So make sure you're jumping really high, and as soon as you hit the ground, jump again. So we have 10 seconds done already. That's it, so make sure you're jumping up into the air as high as you can. And try your best not to hit the cone or whatever it is that you're going to be jumping over. Need five seconds. And we are done. Lovely. Right, so uh, that is our warm up done. What we're going to go into now is just a bit of stuff with the football. I'll get rid of that cone. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to be doing is the hand pass. Okay, so if you want to come a bit closer to me, um, I'll show you really quick. So if you're in junior infants, senior infants, what you can do is just throw the ball in one hand, throw it at the wall, catch it, throw it with your other hand, catch it. So that's where if you're in junior or senior infants, get it nice and close. If you're in first class or up, what I want you to do is take two big steps back and we're going to do a bit of hand passing, okay? So just remember, when you're hand passing, you hold the ball in one hand, then you strike through with the other hand. So try to hit it with your fingertips that will come right back. So that's if you're in first class or above, okay? So we're going to go for 30 seconds. I'm going to do 15 seconds of throwing with junior infants and then I'll do 15 seconds of hand passing with six class. So, we are going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. So, junior infants thrown first. So, throw with your left hand, catch in your chest. Throw with your right hand, catch in your chest. So, keep that going. We have four seconds after that. I'm going to move on now with six class. So, junior infants, you stay going, and six class will take a step back. See how many hand passes you can get against the wall. So try your best to use your left hand your right hand so that matches. We'll be using those as well. So strike the whole way through the ball. We have five seconds left, so keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Nice one. So that's really good, well done. So the next thing we're going to do are bear crawls, okay? So I don't know if you've done bear crawls before. This is for all our classes the whole way up. So what we do is we get down onto our two hands and then our two feet are on the ground. You'll see here my knees never touch the ground. So when I move, my left and right hand, my right and left. <laughs> so do that over back. We'll be going backwards as well. So the key thing is to make sure our knees never touch the ground, okay? So when you're ready, we'll go side to side as well. We'll go forwards, back, whatever you want. Just keep going for 30 seconds. So we're gonna go in three, two, one. And off we go. So bear crawls forward. So we'll go forward for five. Back for five. Then we'll go across for five. And go across the other way. So we're halfway there. So go forward again. Make sure your knees never hit the ground. And then we'll go across. And that's our stuff. <laughs> so next one we're going to do, so again, um, we're going to use a football. If you don't have a football, use anything at all that's just off the ground, okay? So you can see this is about two inches off the ground, football is about five. So use whatever you have at home just as convenient. So toe taps is just really quick. I would have done it in school with some of you, okay? So you just left foot on, right foot on like that, okay? So we're going to go for that for 30 seconds. Again, if you don't have a football, just use anything at all to put your feet on. So, we are going to go in three, two, one, off you go. That's it, so just hit the ball with the tops of your feet, don't put your whole foot on it, otherwise it'll be really, really hard. <laughs> so that's it, keep it going. So try, don't let the football move too much, keep it in one place. So just have your toes on top. If it goes flying away, just bring it back. Make sure you're lifting your knees when you're doing that. That's it, you've only two seconds left. One, zero, and nice. Right, there's our toe taps done. So the next thing we're going to do, again, we'll be using the football. If you don't have a football, I've got this up here. You can use a pair of socks, you can use a tennis ball, whatever you want, okay? And so the figure of eight, is you start with the ball in the middle of your legs, okay? You bring it under one leg, over, 
under, over. When it comes back to the middle, that's one figure of eight done. I did it earlier and I got 12 figure of eight, okay? So if you're in sixth class, you should be getting more than me, you should be getting more than 12. If you're in junior inference, just try to pull it through your legs and don't let the ball fall on the ground for 30 seconds, okay? Ready to go? Three, two, one, and off you go for 30 seconds, okay? So if you're in junior infants, pass it nice, keep your legs spread, and try to pass the ball in and out through. If you're in sixth class, you should definitely be getting more than 12. Okay, so test yourself, try to go as fast as you can. We're halfway there, so keep it going. That's it. I hope my junior infants haven't dropped the ball yet. If you have, just pick it up. And you five seconds left, so try to get the most you can. And that's it, nice one. So guys, we only have about three exercises left, okay? So the next thing we're going to do, um, you don't need a big football, you just need loads of little stuff. So my camera person will come over here, I'll show you what we have in the basket. So if you look really closely, you'll have loads of this stuff at home. So we have a little teddy bear, very cute. Um, a hat, a shoe, socks, and then loads of small little balls, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to show them down here, down here. <laughs> So we'll leave all then there, then I'm going to take five big steps. So one, two, three, four, five. Right, I'll come back here. I'm going to try to throw all these small balls or teddies or shoes into the basket. So I'm going to see how many I can get in 30 seconds. If you're in junior infants, all I want you to do is take two big steps and then drop your basket here if you haven't and try to throw them into there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for 30 seconds, try to throw in as many as we can. Um, I'm going to see how many I can get and then you can try and beat me if you want. It'll be very, very hard though. Right, so we're going to go in three, two, one, and <laughs> off you go. So I have got one, nice. That is to keep throwing, use your left hand, your right hand to throw. Yeah. Show my teddy. Missed my shoe. If you knock your basket over, just really get it. <laughs> we have 15 seconds left. I hope you're doing better than I am. All my socks. Yeah. Yes. And time is up. So come with me over here. Let's see how many we got. Um, I got four. So <laughs> if you got more than four, you beat me. If you did not, we're going to have one more go so you can see if you think me. So just collect all your small balls again. I'm going to run up here, drop them all down. Take five big steps. And this time it's going to be a little bit different. And um, what we're going to do is when we're throwing the ball, you're going to be on your left leg throwing. So whichever leg you want, you're going to throw the ball. Um, after 15 seconds, I'll say switch. So you're going to switch onto your other leg, and then you're going to throw the rest of the balls into the basket. Um, I got four last time, so I have to be four this time. If you got three the last time, you have to get four. If you got seven, you have to get 27. Okay? So on one leg, are you ready to go? Three, two, one, and one leg and throw. So try to stay on your leg when you're picking up the ball. I am doing way better on one leg. That's it. So keep showing. We're nearly halfway there. I'm going to switch legs. So switch legs onto your other leg now. And off you go throwing. And we have three seconds left. So throw as many as you can in three seconds. Those last throws were terrible. Right, come over here and see how many I got. So I got four the last time. And I got four again this time. I got a shoe, a teddy, and two different size balls. So um, I did not get more, unfortunately. Next week, I'll try again. Lovely. So we have one more thing left for today. And I would have done this in school with loads of you. So if you have a football, Great. 
And if you don't have football, a pair of socks. If you don't have a pair of socks, tennis ball maybe, anything at all, okay? And what we're going to do, just for the last one, is going to throw the ball up into the air. See how many claps you can get. Catch the ball, and then see what high score you have at the end, okay? So, um, try as many claps as you can. If you throw the ball and you clap and it hits the ground first, doesn't count, you have to throw it up, clap, and catch. Right, so we'll see if you beat me this time. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and off you go. So throw it up as high as you can, get as many claps as you can. I think that's five, six. That's it, keep going. See if you beat me. I'll show you what it's like if you have a pair of socks. So you have about 10 seconds left, so a few pairs of socks. It is way harder. That's it, we have five seconds left. And last one. Nice, there we go. So the most I got was six, I think. So if you beat six, let me know when we go back to school or in the club. And if you don't beat six, let's try to get it this week. So keep practicing and practicing until I'm back with you next week. So guys, that's me done for today. And don't cheat for until I send you another video next week. So please, please, please try your best. Um, take part in the videos. Um, your teachers will send them on to me and I'll get to see how good you're doing. And then I'll see you all again next week. So thanks a bit, hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.